Good hot afternoon, y'all. YouTube, people, world, everywhere. <clears throat> Just want to do a quick little tip uh, for washing machines. Mainly uh, front-loading washing machines. This is a uh, must-do if you own or use a front-load washing machine. Um, the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because when I'm out traveling out on the road for the railroad, um, I always use laundry mats and uh, I always use front load washing machines and uh, they're pretty nasty, pretty stinky. I uh, almost feel like washing, doing a wash, a load without clothes in there um, just so that the tub is clean. But however, um, I don't. I just do extra soap, laundry detergent. Anyway, so for those of you guys that don't know, um, if you have a front load washing machine, realistically you should leave it open to air dry so that the mold and stinky nasty stuff doesn't grow in there. Um, so that's what we used to do with, with our old one. Um, we had a Maytag. Maytag uh, front load just like this except for obviously this is brand new um, the other one was a lot older we had it since 2000 2000 or 2001 so it lasted about 19 years 18 19 years um, worked really good it still works it, the one we have still works something's just wrong with this control board or the motor something gets hot or who knows what and uh, it basically throws an error code and uh, yeah and then you gotta come out push start again and it'll be on 20 minutes and then you push start again and then it'll be on 20 minutes and you push start again and it, it'll go through like a whole cycle probably like 15 minutes and then it'll show restart again so I drilled a hole in the back to try to get more airflow because I saw a couple videos um, with uh, saying that the heat sink on the back was getting hot, but mine, however, wasn't getting hot. Um, check connectors with the motor. I don't know what the deal was. Circuit board, you can't get them other than used. And if it's used, it probably has the same problem. So I didn't really know what it was. I got sick of it out here filming videos, out here doing whatever, and uh, wrenching on cars, wrenching on trucks, and the thing constantly just beep, 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 beep. You know, error, 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 come fix me. Um, so, got irritated one weekend and uh, just ended up buying a new one. So for front load washing machines, this is a must. Leave it open, let it, let the air, let it air out, um, air dry, so that it doesn't stink, you don't build mold, because you'll get you'll get mold and stuff down in here. Um, as you can see, mine's dry. Um, I don't know what that all what that is something probably from the kids' clothes or something. Um, but I did a little laundry this morning, and uh, here's the here's the load in there. So, anyway, but when you have a car in here, right now it's not that bad. Usually the wife parks her car a little farther back, or I'll park her car a little farther back. You have plenty of room to walk around. Um, but anyway, so what I recommend to do, because sometimes this door will be like that. And you'll go to open it and you'll hit the car or hit the door so if you can what I did is I got a piece of this velcro elastic velcro put the furry part on here have the harder part down here I have a uh, it velcroed uh, to the side of the washing machine and all you got to do is that 
bungees, it stays open, it can air dry. Um, this should be something, honestly, this should be something I would probably recommend to every front load wash machine. Um, dryers you don't have to worry about, obviously, because it dries. Um, but maybe the uh, companies can uh, make something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. This one's elastic. Um, I put it on there and uh, I like it because before I'd be had to have something in my hand carrying and when it, this would be open I'd be walking through because these, these doors don't. So that's that's as far as it opens. So it doesn't like you know swing open all the way so I'd be walking through and I'd have to squeeze in and kind of like have to shut it with my knee to come over here to wash um, but anyway now with this little thingy I don't know I think the wife likes it because now she can get in in with her car in her car door pull in she doesn't have to worry about rolling down her window doing that not saying this is solely for her it's mainly for me because I got sick of even when my Audi was in here so it's not because her car is in here so when the Audi is in here it was worse you know obviously I don't want her car I don't really care too much about um, but that when the Audi was in here constantly couldn't open the door couldn't open the door because this was in the way so I came up with that some quick cool little idea I think every front load washing machine should have because you need to have these left open um, otherwise you can use a fresh uh, washing machine cleaner for front loads top loads too but this cleans everything out um, but this when you run these and then you run this cycle I'll show you real quick so this is clean washer with a fresh. Watch this. An hour and 28 minute cycle. This thing just constantly just going, 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 going. So um yeah, if you can get rid of this, you'd won't have to do this. Um we didn't really need to do it like I watched the water coming out because I have it draining into the sink when I did this when the when I did the fresh cleaning um, says use once every month or every 30 cycles um, we probably washed about 50 cycles and I got I got I get really dirty clothes and my kid now that he works for the county he gets really dirty clothes I'd wash the first three rinse cycles with the fresh and the water was clean. Um, so it works, works really good. Um, I kind of don't think we need this, but maybe once a year maybe. Um, so this is a six month supply. So I'll probably just do that once a year. But if you can uh, do something like this with your front load wash machine, um, I think it's a great little idea nothing nothing crazy no invention but I tell you what if you have a garage where you want to walk or even a, a laundry room like if you had a laundry room like my sister's house she's got bifold doors that her laundry washer and dryer are in um, so she can't she has a front load she can't leave her doors open but if she had this she could leave it open and it will air out so, anyway, just a little idea I wanted to share with people. Um, doesn't have to be that, it could be anything. So, just to keep the mold, keep your clothes from stinking, from smelling really bad. Um, keep your washing machine sm from smelling really bad. Mine is in the garage, so we don't really smell it in the house, but you got people that have laundry, washer, dryer, whatever in their house, and uh, it can get really stinky. So. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Uh, I just thought about it. I was like, oh, let me go share this real quick. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do.
thank you guys already for subscribing and commenting. And uh, I think my next project is going to be making a uh, uh, butcher block for my toolbox, the top of my toolbox, because it's getting hot and you can see what what this is doing. Next project. One of these days. Alright guys, later.